Hey IELTS test takers! Today, we're going to look at eight steps that you can take towards a band eight in IELTS Writing Task 2 using the assessment criteria and band descriptors as a guide to what the examiner is looking for. You're welcome to pause the video and read as we move through the essay example. Look at the positive features listed at the band aid level and notice there are barely any negative features mentioned. Our steps today will take you across these four areas, starting with task response and moving through all the other criteria. The focus of this lesson is to look at areas that need more work and can prevent a higher score if not given enough attention. Step 1. Answer the question relevantly. This means that you should answer what you have been asked. Don't produce an essay that is close to the topic that you have already prepared. You will also need to make sure that your examples and ideas are relevant. If you generalise too much and are not specific enough, this will impact how your ideas come across. Step 2. Answer all parts of the question. You must read the question carefully and decide how many parts are in it. Then, you must effectively answer all parts of the question to reach a band 8 and higher. Have a look at the table to see if you understand how many parts are in each IELTS question type and whether you should present your opinion. It is very important to take a clear stance on the statement or premise and to show that your position is clear throughout the essay. Step 3. Organise your essay logically with clear progression using linking words or phrases. The essay must be organised and easy for the reader to follow. Ideas must be sequenced clearly, starting at the beginning and moving through to a conclusion. If you are asked to present both views and your opinion, state your opinion at the beginning of the essay and then move on to present both views. You can then come back to your own opinion and conclude the essay. This is a logical way to present these ideas. Linking words and phrases, which we discussed in our Band 7 video, are used to make your writing more cohesive and coherent. This will help the reader know what is happening as you will be signalling this clearly to them. Step 4. Organise your essay into paragraphs. Paragraphing shows that your essay is organised into parts. Each paragraph contains a clear topic that is developed. A paragraph must have a minimum of two sentences. Remember, P-E-E-L or peel. Point, introduce your topic, topic sentence. Example, example that supports your point. Explain, why this evidence supports your point. Link. Transition to the next topic paragraph. How many paragraphs should I use? You must use enough paragraphs to clearly show the structure of your response. This will show that you can organise your thoughts and ideas and present them logically. Here are some ideas on how many paragraphs you could include in an essay. Step 5. Use less common vocabulary and spell it correctly. You will see in the band descriptors that a band 8 writer successfully uses uncommon lexical items. When we learn a language, we use common and uncommon terms. Common terms are words and phrases we use every day to refer to personal experience and daily habits. Uncommon terms are used when we discuss specific topics or when we use idiomatic language, phrasal verbs, Words that are old-fashioned and not used in everyday speech should not be used. If you choose a synonym, the meaning must be the same and must not alter the idea being presented. For example, adolescent, teenager have close meaning and can be used interchangeably. However, toddler, baby have quite different meanings. Collocation is also mentioned in Band 8 and it is assumed that you know which words go together, as well as which words are suitable to use for different topics. If you are discussing child crime, you could use the term minor, as this is a legal term used to describe children under the age of 18. If you are using phrasal verbs, make sure you are using the correct preposition, as it can change the meaning. 
throw out, away equals discard. Throw up equals vomit, get sick. Idioms should only be used if you understand them completely and if they fit the topic you are discussing. Step 6. Don't use memorised language learnt off phrases and examples. As mentioned in Step 5, don't use phrases and memorised sentences. Examiners find them incredibly easy to spot. Overused phrases that are commonly used include linker idioms and clichés. Idioms are generally spoken and not used when writing essays. Proverbs and clichés should also be avoided. Again, they are often used when speaking. These can include... These terms should not be used when writing as they are vague and do not address a task appropriately. You should use clear language and make appropriate word choices that will express your ideas clearly. The table here contains some examples. Step 7. Use a variety of complex sentence structures. At Band 8, it is expected that you can use a wide range of sentence structures to accurately present your ideas and opinion. You are rated on two areas, range of structures used and accuracy. It is important to use a mix of complex and simple sentences. But remember, complex sentences should not be long and complicated. The most common errors made are highlighted here. Step 8. Checklist. Finally, when you're practising your essay, you can use the following checklist to make sure that your writing contains the positive features at a band 8. If you follow these eight steps, you'll be on your way towards a band eight for IELTS writing task two in no time. Thank you for joining us.